Howdy everyone, Pocho here with an Age of Magic video and in today's video we're going into the qualifier match against Kelpie and Grandma Pocho. This one's going to be a little bit different as I have Grandma Pocho here and she will be selecting the heroes herself and I will not be helping her. So there's going to be a little bit of moving around to record the starting of this video but we will get through it. So without waiting anymore we'll get into the battle and we'll see what is happening. Kelpie, before we start I just want you to know, if you win, you are beating an old lady. Hey everyone, Polcha here with Grandma Polcha. You've already met her. Now we're going to go into the selection and banning process. Grandma Polcha won the coin flip, so she will be going first. I have the heroes on the board. She will be banning and selecting through pointing. I've shown her what she needs to do. I will not be helping her in any way. She has no information whatsoever. So Grandma Polcho, can you you're gonna you're gonna ban a hero, okay? So I want you to pick a hero, anyone you want. Which one do you want? Okay, alright. She has started by banning Kelpie. She's banned Gatekeeper. So Gatekeeper is off the okay. You get a ban now, mate. What do you want to ban? I wanna ban Naja. Naja, okay. Naja is off the table. Grandma, you get to ban another one. Pick another one. Gone, she's gone and banned Schnee. Kelpie, Schnee is off the table. You get another ban, mate. Okay. Um, I want to ban Phoenix. Phoenix is off the table. Yeah, yeah, you get to ban another one. She's gone and banned Hargrim. You get to ban another one, Kelpie. Okay, I want to ban um, Velundar. Velundar? Yeah. Velundar is off the table. Okay, yeah, yeah. You get to pick a hero now, okay? One hero. Pick one. Another, yeah, pick one more hero. You starting. This is your team now. She has started off with Siegfried. Kelpie? Siegfried, so okay. And your turn for selection, mate. You get to pick two heroes now. Okay. I won uh, uh, Azario, Azario and Tyros. And, and Tyros? Tyros, yeah. Oh, good. Okay. Yep. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You get to pick two heroes now, okay? Whatever two you want, you get to pick. As long as they don't have a cross through them, okay? She's gone for Cage. Mm -hmm. And Pig Boy. Okay. All right, you get two more selections, mate. Uh, I want Abaddon and Balthazar. Abaddon and Balthazar for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, you get to pick two more. Oraheim. And who else? One more yet to pick. And Hoti. Okay. And that means you get to pick one more hero, Kelpie. Uh, Sharch. All right, who'd you pick, mate? Sharch is Arch. Zart, Zart, Zart. Yeah, okay, I got you. I got you. All right, you're on a bit of a demon team. Okay, that's strong. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You get to pick one, two, three... Four. Have I? Oh no, you've got five. Okay, yeah, you get to pick one more hero. She's gone Balara for her sub, okay. and you're picking and a sub now, mate. Uh, one softy. Softy is your sub. Yeah. All right, beautiful. And I guess you're going to be running Abaddon as your leader. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. I don't think Yaya has any leaders on this. Oh no, she has Oraheim. So, Orheim, yeah. yeah, we'll put Oraheim as her leader just because she doesn't know what leaderships are. That sounds good. Thank you very much for your time, Kelpie. I'll post the results thank to you, you shortly. And thank you to Grandma Polcho. Say bye to everyone. Bye. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the selection process has been done. I'm not going to go through step by step because you saw it firsthand. It happening. That was wonderful. We have Grandma Polcho with her bands, Gatekeeper Schnee Hargrim. Obviously, no idea what she's doing. Kelpie banning some pretty good heroes. Naja, Phoenix, of course, Phoenix, a great band. And we have Velandar, interesting band, to be honest. 
Grandma Porcher started off with Siegfried. Honestly, a good start, I think. With the boards, maybe, I don't know. Siegfried is not great these days. A year ago, maybe a top tier choice. And then she followed up with Cage, which is, I think, a great choice. Pit Pig Boy questionable, Oraheim, and Hody surprised with that decision, honestly. And I swear on my life, I was not helping her in any way. She picked those two, and I was super happy she did. We're going to put Oraheim as her leader. Obviously, she doesn't have the understanding of what leadership abilities are, so I'm going to make that goal for her. And Hody, those two are going to be great together with the sub Balara. Questionable sub, since there is no Denea, takes away 98% of Balara's power. That, so, redundant hero. She doesn't know that, though. Looking at Kelpie's roster, starting off really strong with Azariel and Tyros. Of course, he's going to pick Tyros. Crazy not to pick Tyros, but that is a strong start. Then following up with the Abaddon Balthazar Zart, a demon team with the demon leader. Tyros there to do the support attack every time a... Oh, I forget. I haven't used Abaddon in so long, but there is an ability. I think it's his passive. Does he have... Who knows? There is something that allows melee damages to attack as a support attack, so he's got that combination, and he's got two healers, Zart for Resurrect, even though it's not permanent, there's still a Resurrect on the field, the Azariel for the Invulnerability, and we have the Abaddon allowing taunts on characters with the most HP, so he's able to mitigate damage a lot to specific heroes. The only benefit Grandma Pocho has against Kelpie is the Cage with the Anti-Heal. Maybe that's enough, who knows? We'll go into the battle now. We'll see how it turns out in round one. Going into the first battle, and Grandma Polcho's team starts off first. A lot of buffs and debuffs coming out. Balthazar starts off first, and Tyros with the initiative decrease, giving giving Kelpie a huge advantage. As you can see, the Siegfried is taking a lot of damage, and I'm lucky for Grandma Polcho, none of the debuffs from Abaddon came out. That might be really beneficial to Grandma Polcho, as Tyros is taking a beating. He gets the defense increase out and Hody comes out gets some healing out that might be good but they need to take out someone on the enemy team Siegfried dies there's not much she can do against that a lot of damage coming out on the Azariel but the Zart comes through with the heal they are going for the Azariel if they can take out Azariel that is a huge win but with the Zart on the field still there is a chance that they can bring her back the Damage is being dealt now to the Zart as Hoti falls. Unfortunately, I don't think Grandma Polcho can come back at this point. With the Cage and Oraheim and... Oh, I forgot the Cage combination as well. Grandma Polcho seems actually not too bad. Unfortunately, it's just not doing too well against the Abaddon team. Kelpie has a pretty solid lineup and there is not much that can be done at this point. As Cage falls, Oraheim is next on the target list. She will fall quickly as Balthazar takes her out and Grandma Polcho is left with only Pig Boy who is not going to be doing a lot in this battle. He falls from the battle and Kelpie takes the first point. So going into the second battle, Grandma Polcho did want to sub in someone. However, she had no idea what was going on. So I asked Kelpie if I could do it for her. So I subbed out Pig Boy and put in Balara. Kelpie, no subs, he's going with the same team, so the fight continues, and as you can see, they are going for Siegfried as he has the torn on him. I chose not to sub out Siegfried for that specific reason, that he could take on the Tyros smash, and hopefully we could achieve something from it, but honestly, I don't see much difference coming from this fight. Abaddon's debuffs come out, and so does Balthazar's, and it puts Grandma Polcho's team at a massive disadvantage. As you can see, there is more red on their field than there is green. And it is a big disadvantage as Kelpie's team moves ahead full force. The Bellara, I, I don't know what was better, Pig Boy or Bellara. Bellara loses so much strength without the Denea leadership. However, having lost the last match, I thought that any change was worth a shot, seeing as the outcome would most likely be the same if we remained with the same team. Abaddon comes through with his big sword smash, doing a lot of damage to Bellara. She's left on the field, and Grandma Pocha is losing the second match unfortunately grandma poche is eliminated from the competition and kelpie moves forward to the qualifiers i lost but i want to thank everyone who voted for me and i am sorry we couldn't move for forward anyway ladies and gentlemen thank you so much for watching if you have any questions leave a comment below and we're
wherever you are in the world and grandma for sure loves you all bye